Well, can I ask you about the craziest one, which is uh, the one we know maybe least about, which is consciousness? Is mm -hmm. it possible that there are certain kinds of matter would be able to classify as um, conscious? Meaning, yeah. like, the, so there's uh, the panpsychists, right, <laughs> or the philosophers yeah. who kind of try to imply that uh, all matter has some degree of consciousness and yeah. you can almost construct like a physics of consciousness. Yeah. Do you, um, again, we're in such early days of this, but nevertheless, it seems useful to talk about. Is, is there some sense from a physics well, perspective to make sense of consciousness? Is there some well, hope? Again, consciousness is- uh, Imprecise. A, a very imprecise word and loaded with, uh, connotations that I think we should we w don't want to start a scientific analysis with that I don't think uh, it, it's often been important in science to start with simple cases and work up uh, consciousness I think what most people think of when you talk about consciousness is okay I'm what am I doing in the in the world? <laughs> this, this is my experience. I have a rich experience, rich inner life and experience of, and uh, where is that in the equations? Yeah. And I think that's a great question, a great, great question. And actually, I think I'm gearing up to spend part of the, the I mean, uh, to try to address that in coming years. One version of asking that question, just as you said now, is what is the simplest? Yeah, formulation of well, that, uh, that to study. I, I think study. I think I'm much more comfortable with the idea of studying self awareness mm. as opposed to consciousness, because that that sort of gets rid of the mystical <laughs> aura of the thing. And self awareness is uh, in simple, you know, the uh, I think uh, contiguous at least with ideas about feedback. So if you have a system that looks at its own state and responds to it. That's a kind of self-awareness. Uh, and more sophisticated versions could be like in information processing things, computers that look into their own internal state and do something about it. And I think it, that could also be done in neural nets. This is called recurrent neural nets, which are hard to understand and kind of a frontier. Of the, 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 uh, uh, so I think understanding those and gradually building up a kind of uh, a profound ability to, un to uh, conceptualize different levels of self-awareness. What do you have to not know and what do you have to know? And when do you know that you don't know it? Or when do you, what do you think you know that you don't really know? And the, 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 these, uh, I think, uh, clarifying those issues, when we clarify those issues and get a rich theory around uh, self-awareness, I think the, the that will illuminate the questions about consciousness in a way that, you know, scratching your chin and talking about qualia and blah, 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 blah is never gonna do. Well, I also have a, a different approach to the whole thing. So there, there's, uh, from a robotics perspective, you can engineer things that exhibit yes. qualities of consciousness without understanding uh, well, the how things work. And from that perspective, you, uh, it's like a back door, yeah. like enter through the psychology door. Uh, Precisely. The, the cognitive Pre science I think, door. Yeah, I think we're on, the, door. we're on the same wavelength here. I think that, uh, and let me, let me just add one comment, which is uh, I think we should try to understand consciousness as we experience it uh, in, in, as, uh, in evolutionary terms mm. and ask ourselves why why does it happen? This thing seems and useful. Why is it useful? Why is it useful? Question. <laughs> I think we've got a conscious eye watch here. <laughs> Interesting question. Thank you, Siri. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, the, uh, 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 get back. I'll get back to you later. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, um, and I think what we're going. I'm, I'm morally certain that what's going to emerge from analyzing recurrent neural nets and uh, robotic design and advanced computer design is that having this kind of looking at the internal state 
in a structured way that that doesn't look at everything. It's, it's, has, it's enca encapsulated, looks at highly processed information, is very selective and makes choices without knowing how they're made. So there'll also be an unconscious. I think that that is gonna be, turn out to be really essential to doing efficient information processing. Mm -hmm. And that's why it evolved. <laughs> <laughs> because it's 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 helpful in uh, because brains come at a high cost. Yeah. So there has to be good, <laughs> there has to be a good why, and there's a reason. Yeah, they're rare in evolution. Uh, you and uh, big brains are rare in evolution, and they they come at a big cost. I mean, if you you they 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 have high metabolic demands. Uh, they require you know very active lifestyle warm bloodedness uh in uh, and take take away from the ability to support metabolism of digestion and so so it's it's uh uh it comes at a high cost it has to it has to pay back yeah i think it has a lot of value in social interaction so i actually am spending yeah. the rest of the day today and uh with uh, our friends uh, that are our legged friends in robotic form at Boston Dynamics. Uh -huh. And I think, so my probably biggest passion is human-robot interaction. And it, it seems that consciousness from the perspective of the robot is very useful yes. to improve the human-robot interaction experience. Uh, the first, the display of consciousness, but then to me, there's a gray area between the display of consciousness and consciousness itself. If you think of consciousness from an evolutionary perspective, it seems like a useful tool in human communication. So yes, it's, um, okay. it's certainly well, whatever consciousness is will turn out to be. Yeah. I, I think uh, addressing it through its use, yes, and working up from simple cases, and also working up from engineering experience in trying to do um, efficient computation, including efficient management of social interactions is going to really shed light on these questions, as I said, in a way that sort of musing abstractly about consciousness never would.